Hi, this is Vicki again here to show you how to use templates in Corel Draw, specifically uh, using the power driver and choosing substrates. So I chose to use a template so we could all show also go over how to use templates in the same video um, using Photoshop elements. And uh, but for the most part, I've, I get a lot of questions on. Uh, what do I choose? What substrate do I choose from the power driver? How do I change paper sizes? All those things. Um, so we're just going to uh, go over that and at the same time go over using a template. So I have a flip-flop template here open and this is the medium adult already open here in Photoshop. And now what I want to do is to place an image. So to do that, if you're using my templates that uh, I make here at Condi, which they're Condi templates, but I make them, um, I also, in my templates, you'll see place an image or graphic here. I have that there for a reason. And what that means is in Photoshop is that you have layers. And so layers are particularly important because you got to know which layer you're working with. And over to the right, uh, with the templates here, you have two layers. Um, and then uh, this will always be the bottom layer. And how I know it's the bottom layer is that um, this being layer one is on top and this being layer two, which is underneath, underneath the actual keyhole and I refer to a uh, template layer, the top layer, as the keyhole. So it's like looking through a keyhole and seeing something in that shape or form. So this being the keyhole, the top layer, and this being the bottom layer. Um, so if I was to blink that off, all you're going to see is the back layer. So to turn it back on, vice versa. Um, so we're going to show both layers here, but I wanted to give you an example of, of what I mean by the keyhole. So again, this being the bottom layer, make sure you're selected on that. Otherwise, any work you do would be uh, on this layer, and that would be the wrong layer. So select place image or graphic here. That means click here. And now you're going to go to File and you're going to scroll down and this would work with uh, most of the Photoshop uh, versions so no problem uh, what I'm showing you here you should have no problem doing it in the other Photoshop versions also um, I'm going to left click on place and that opens up a dialog box where I can go find my image and I already have my image ready should you not have your um, your image or if it should not open to the right place just be sure to, to scroll around here here's your computer everything on the left means that these are different uh, files that you can go to or, or different places where files would be located okay mine opened up to where I wanted it to because I was in here earlier so now I'm going to click on my image which is going to be the old American flag and it's going to show my file name here and I'm going to left click on place and as you can see that doesn't quite fit or fill the area I have a plus I'm sorry a checkbox and a delete here uh, so that's what that means meaning when I'm ready uh, to finish this I'll check the check or I can just rid the image by getting rid of the, the red by clicking the red circle but I'm just going to stretch this out to the way I want it and I know this is this is only for demonstration purposes but uh, I'm not going to perfect this but most for the most part I just want to show you how this works and uh, now that I've got this area covered um, I'm just going to click the little check mark here and that's going to go ahead and place my image so it's in there and now what I want to do uh, the second part of this is I want to show you how to print using the power driver and we here at Condi usually use the ICC profile and we prefer the ICC profile but uh, to clear up any questions on how to use the power driver I'm going to use that in this demonstration um, so I'm just going to go to file and I'm going to left click on print and uh, I'm going to choose my power driver from my list of peripherals here and I already have it chosen but uh, had it not been there I would just scroll down and click it so um, and there it would be and this is the actual print size I have here which is fine by me now what I need to do with a power driver is make sure that uh, there's no color management selected here because the power driver determines color not Photoshop 
Uh, so with the, only with the power driver would you do this. No color management. Now I need to go to printing preferences and make sure that I have the right paper size. And also I want to show you how to choose the right substrate. Because with the power driver you have different substrates you can choose from. And I have a 13 by 19 paper size which is exactly what I want. Had that not been what I wanted I can f click this fly, fly down or this, this little drop box and and select the right paper size. And my substrate is not a mouse pad, but uh, with the flip flops, the material is kind of like a mouse pad. So I'm going to choose as a substrate the mouse pad. Now, the other things I could choose is maybe soft link or something like that. And basically, this has to do with what product you're transferring your image to. So, based on your product, you'd get as close as you could uh, choose in this menu here to something that is similar in, um, in you know a similar product and I'm going to choose the mouse pad because the material is kind of like that and the timing uh, the, the cook time is like that meaning the transfer the actual uh, transfer time is going to be similar to that of a mouse pad this here I'm going to leave on realistic this is saturation um, I wouldn't probably change this much. I might would go to a saturated uh, level, but I'm going to leave it on realistic. Um, I'm not going to change anything else in here. Um, paper size, substrate, and as with the uh, the power driver, your mirror image is already by default selected for you. So uh, when we transfer to flip flops, we want to make sure that's checked. Uh, paper quality. Well, I'm using the bypass tray because I'm using the 7000 and of course the bypass tray uh, contains the 13 by 19 paper. Layout, portrait, that's correct. Sheets per page, all this stuff is correct. Um, paper type with the power driver. Media Street 31 pound is, is the correct paper type I want to choose. So again, everything's all chosen correctly here and that's uh, some of the most important most important things I wanted to show you was how to choose your substrate. Had this been a tile or something, I'd, I would use ceramic. Uh, metal, I would use, um, you know, metal, unisub products, vice versa. Um, you know, I can, I can change things based on the type product I'm sublimating to, and I'm going to choose a mouse pad. Media Street 31 pound, I'm mirrored, I'm ready to go, so I would just click OK. And that's how it works. Um, now, if I were going to print this, I would go ahead and click print. Everything is uh, selected correctly, and um, those are the pretty uh, those are pretty much the basics for using the power driver. And also, we've incorporated using templates in in Photoshop. So I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions at all on uh, anything I've just covered here, you can call us here at Condi. Anyone in our department should be able to answer these questions for you. My name is Vicki, and as always, I thank you for your time.